Hey everybody, Rich here with a follow-up video to my last one about Yahoo Mail Classic. It dawned upon me I did not need to use Windows 2000 or IE6 in order to get my Yahoo Mail Classic back when all I had to do was just switch the user agent in Firefox. Now I'm going to tell you about user agent switcher. This is a nifty little add-on for Firefox. The way to get it is to go to Firefox add-ons and you end up here click on get add-ons and then just search for the term agent. The first one that will show up will be user agent switcher. It's not in this list because I already have it installed. When you click on extensions you have user agent switcher. Now I'm going to explain what this is and what the add-on is before I explain any further how it all works. Every single browser whether IE, Firefox, Chrome, Chromium, Opera or whatever it is whenever you go to a website the web uh, the web browser will identify what it is to the web server if you've ever been to a website where the site magically knows what browser you're using it says hey you're using Firefox or hey you're using Opera or hey you're using Chrome or whatever there's nothing magical about it it's because of the user agent that the browser is telling the web server that allows the web server to know what browser you were using at the time what a user agent switcher does is change that identifier to whatever you want. In this case it's going to work out really well because I want to tell Yahoo Mail I'm running IE6 so I can switch back to the Yahoo Mail Classic interface. And if I click options for user agent switcher one of the browsers I can masquerade as, so to speak, is IE6. Cool. So we'll put that to good use. Now what I need to do is I need to put the user agent switcher into my toolbar here so what I'm going to do is right click the home button go to customize which allows me to customize the toolbar one of the new options after you install user agent switcher is the default user agent button which is actually a menu so I'm going to click and drag that over here so now it's there little ball click done by default it is grayed out which means it is disabled and you want it disabled by default unless you actually intend to turn it on and believe me it's good that it's like that so what I'm going to do first is go over into Yahoo Mail and log in with my Yahoo Mail account. And I have the brand new Yahoo Mail interface, the poopy one, the one that everyone hates. And as you know, there is no option anywhere to go back to the old version of Yahoo Mail, and that just plain sucks. So, what I'm going to do is sign out, and now I'm going to enable the uh, user agent switcher and select Internet Explorer 6. You'll notice that when I do that the icon turns blue telling you it is enabled. I hover over it it says I'm running, oh, well not running, it says that I am identifying myself right now as IE6. Okay, so go back to mail.yahoo.com log in again and this time, haha it thinks I'm running IE6, so it gives me this your browser isn't supported notice. Well, that's obviously not true. I am running Firefox 5, but I'm telling Yahoo Mail I'm running IE6, so I get this option right here. Return to a previous version of Yahoo Mail. Do it. Yes! Back to Yahoo Mail Classic. Rock on. So now, I sign out. Uh, disable the user agent switcher by just selecting default user agent it will go gray which means I am now identifying myself again as Firefox 5 go back to Yahoo Mail log in again yes and I kept the setting so now I have it uh, excuse me Yahoo Mail classic and I was able to do it by a little bit of user agent trickery by using the user agent switcher add-on for Firefox so there you go now you have a method to do it without having to find an old computer with IE6 or any of that crap just get that one add-on and uh, it's just cool so now you know how to do it